What's up, y'all? A Monroe Billy gang in the building, man. Simple. Not as plain, but shit. Y'all know what time it is, man. Y'all know what's going down. I'm still getting over my uh, sickness. You know what I'm saying? I still am a little sick. But for the most part, I'm feeling better. So that's good. We actually got something very important going on in this video. This video specifically is going to be the start and the beginning of our journey, you know what I'm saying? And when I say that, I mean, today is the day that we are going to AI Tootsie. We're gonna start her to, uh, we're gonna start AI and Tootsie today. It's gonna be one of four of, of these AIs that we do. I need to call later today and see what the doctor is saying about her progesterone test that we did, because we did a progesterone test before we left, but they never called us back and gave us the results. They said it would be in that night or the next day, but they never called us. So we need to call them and see what you know what I'm saying? The doctor would have suggested after seeing the test, he told us by Wednesday um, that she should be ready. But I just want to see, you know what I'm saying, what the progesterone test is saying. But anyway, today's going to be the day of AI. We just gave her her and Draco a bath, um, a little shower the day before they went to the vet. But I'm just going to give them one right now today. You know, Tootsie's been bleeding. They go outside. You know, dogs are dirty. They like to getting the dirt roll around. I just want to make sure that everything is as clean as possible. You know, I could wash her out, try to clean her little area. Same with Draco, wash him off, clean his little area before we do the AI insemination. Right now, I think it's like five o'clock in the morning. I'm about to wash them off right now. Um, I already left them outside, right? Like just right now before. So I'm gonna wash them off, try to dry them off, leave them in their cages for a couple hours, let them um, dry off and shit. Then um, later today, probably around 10 o'clock in the morning, 11, that's when we're gonna start and we're gonna do the first AI. I'm gonna catch all of that on camera. Hopefully, you know what I'm saying, um, I can do Draco's pretty good, you know what I'm saying? You know, he's kind of a wild dog. At the vet, he was real scared and shy. He was on top, top of the elevated table. So he was real like, you know what I'm saying? Like just scary and shy. And you know, he's just a shy dog around other people because I haven't had him around too many people, but other than that, y'all, that's really all that's gonna go down right now, man. Shit, I'm finna give them both a shower. I'm not finna show not, show me giving them a, a shower or anything like that. I'm just letting y'all know today's the day we're gonna AI. Um, I'm about to shower them off. And then the other footage that you guys are about to see is gonna be the actual AI of how we're gonna do it. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, man, it's game time. It's locking, man. This is what we've been waiting for since the, you know, the jump, the start. My hair is crazy, boy. Yeah, this is what we've been waiting for, man, since the beginning of time, since we, you know what I'm saying? This was the whole plan, the plot twist, so, you know, hopefully she takes. I believe she's going to take, bro. I believe she's going to take. We did everything right. You know what I'm saying? Her level should be, you know, pretty high, just about right today. So we're going to get it cracking. I think what I'm going to do today is Wednesday. So I'm going to do Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I'm not going to do it Saturday. I'm not going to AI her Saturday. And then I'm going to do it Sunday. So I'm going to give her four AIs um, over the course of starting today, you know, until Sunday. So I'm going to give her, you know what I'm saying, one today, one tomorrow, one the next day. I'm going to skip a day to give them both a break. Then I'm going to give them, um, give them the last, give her the last one on um, Sunday. So with that, you know, after, after that, from 30 days from then, uh, we will know if she has, you know, took and got, became pregnant or not. Now, we might know sooner just by the way visually she looks, but sometimes a lot of dogs look pregnant or they start getting symptoms to look pre like sh appear pregnant, but they don't be pregnant. So visually, we might think and be able to tell, but we won't 100% know until we go get that ultrasound and check it out and see, you know what I'm saying? But y'all know what this is, man. I'm on really game, man. Y'all, if y'all haven't already, go back and check the pedigree videos, man. You can see uh, the dogs that were in both the parents' sides to come down and create um, Tootsie and Draco. You get to see what bloodlines are mixing because these bloodlines are honestly pretty fire. Like, it's not like they got like six famous dogs on each side, like super big dogs. But if you look at the bloodlines, they're pretty solid names. There's pretty solid names in there. And, you know, they got some pretty bad dogs in there. They all got a lot of shit up in there. Oh, also, that thing I told y'all I was gonna tell y'all next video. Uh, we got this guy uh, from my city. He's um, 
he's starting to breed uh, American bullies as well, pocket American bullies as well. So what he wants to do is he wants to use Draco, um, Draco's sperm for his female, you know what I'm saying? So he wants to use Draco's stud credit, stud fee um, for his female. Now, the only thing is, is his female, um, from what he told me, she's not registered. She doesn't have papers, but Draco does. And I know a lot of people feel some type of way. A lot of people won't. A lot of people aren't gonna. Oh no! Nah, if you don't have papers, I'm not gonna mess with you. I understand that, but for us and for us just starting out, bro, I'm willing to to mess with anybody, and I'm willing to associate with anybody as long as they do good business and their intentions are good. You know what I'm saying? Then I'll I'll, I'll do business with you. I conduct business with you. I mean, realistically, if a wild dog is a wild dog. And it, it, it don't matter if they got papers or not. They're going to do what they're going to do when that time comes. You know what I'm saying? You know, so how I feel about that is, yeah, she doesn't have papers. Um, that's one reason why I don't want a pup back. You know what I'm saying? I know the pups are probably going to become fire. She has, She's a nice, um, she looks kind of like Draco, honestly. She's a black pocket uh, female, but, you know, I don't really want a pup back because uh, the mother doesn't have papers. That's kind of nothing, nothing for me that I'm interested in, but... You know, I know the puppies are gonna look nice and it's gonna be cool to see what else Draco can produce with her and that female. She's actually in heat right now too. Um, her and Tootsie actually just tied up and, and connected. They've never met, but they, they you know, came in the heat around the same time. So Draco should be knocking out this breeding starting today in this video. And then um, later on, me and the dude have been discussing what, what we're gonna do, how we're gonna do it. Rather we meet up and, and do the AI publicly somewhere or, if he gives me his female for a cup for like a week, you know, I'm, you know, what I'm saying I AI her, which will also be on video on camera. Either way it goes, um, you guys will be able to see how that goes down. But um, yeah, man, you know, Draco's about to have, you know, two litters go down, and that's something cool to see. You know, she doesn't have papers, so I personally don't want to put back. But you know, it's just gonna be cool to see what else Draco can produce and do. You know what I'm saying? Just because he bought a female with no papers doesn't mean that. He, he shouldn't be able to use my dog if he wants to use my dog. He has his own, you know what I'm saying, thing he's doing. And that goes with any other breeder in the world. People do what they want to do and how they want to do it. Rather they knew about things or didn't. So, hey man, uh, I, I love to see people, you know, breed dogs. I love to see people get into all this dog stuff because, you know, I was a pit bull guy. You know what I'm saying? I had all types of pit bulls, but never got to that breeding point with them. And I just, you know, just buying dogs, but Hey man, that's all I got to let y'all know in my little, uh, what's it called, little speech I done gave today. But yeah, man, that's what we got going on. So today's the day we start the uh, AI insemination. Right now, I'm finna give them a shower. Later today, a couple hours when they dry off, I will be recording and I will start. Uh, and, and also Draco's gonna be, you know, possibly having um, two litters. I say possibly because it's not fully 100% locked in, but you know, me and this dude have been talking for a couple of weeks about this situation, planning everything out. And it seems like he's pretty serious and, and, and willing to go forward with Draco and his stud fee. So that, that should actually be something that's happening this week as well. You know what I'm saying? Today is Wednesday. I'm not exactly sure what the day is. It's rather the 11th or 12th. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm tired. It's early in the morning. I'm about to shower them off. I will catch y'all in the next uh, clip when we start the AI, man. Alright y'all, so before we get started, I got my uh, my little AI rod, whatever, the syringe, scissors just in case I need to cut the uh, the bag, here's the kit here I got, and I have a little loop to just, you know, help put inside a tootsie. But yeah man, we're about to, about to start, got everything ready. Thank you. 
All right, y'all, so I just pulled Draco. Got a good little amount right there. You know, I'm gonna hold it with my life on YouTube. We got him, he's recharging. He's good for the day. This is all we need from him today. And then I'm about to do the second part and put this in Tootsie. As y'all can see, he gave us a good amount to work with, for sure. What did Draco give us, huh? That's a good amount for Draco. So cool. technical difficulty we had the wrong two we had the wrong two I gotta do one more load nightmare this is day one though this is only day one this is only day one I'm probably gonna go to the store later and get the right two for the this AI so tomorrow will be good successfully you know what I'm saying when it's successfully to get it I'm gonna try just to connect this with air it worked or not no 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 I think she's peeing what do you think I think that's pee All right, y'all. So that was me jamming out, man. We on the way to uh, we on the way to tractor supply right now. You hear me? When I was doing the AI on Tootsie, like everything basically went smooth. Um, the first time I, I, I tried to hit Draco, I don't think it's on camera, but the first time I tried to hit Draco, it was just like pre cum, you know, like just like a little clear liquid and shit. So that was that. Then I, then I did it again. I was able to really get a decent pull from him this morning. I, I, I put the tube in Tootsie because we had got a new syringe besides the AI kit we bought. We bought like a small AI kit. So the little tube only fit to the small little syringes. You know what I'm saying? So while we had the tube in Tootsie, we figured like I, I tried to plug it in, but I realized that the the new right sized one that I had, the appropriate size um, syringe, didn't fit into the tube. So I was like, man, I'm not gonna take the risk and this shit just, you know, squirt all out and we just, you know, waste the day, ruin the day. So I had to switch mid video to get the uh, small syringe and squirt it up in there. Yeah, so that was that. And then after that, you know, Tootsie, she starts pissing, man. She started peeing on me like, Tootsie starts peeing like a little bit after I did the little AI. So I was just like, man, you know, I don't know if, 
you know, that kind of ruined it completely for the day. Or if it, you know, is like a 50-50 roll of dice type of situation. It was in there for like a good little, a couple minutes. But it's like, bro, I don't even think that was, you know, even in there long enough to be real with you. But it is what it is. Tomorrow, that's why I'm going to check the supply. I'm going to get the right size, the little AI rod. And then I'm going to get uh, some more dog food. And then I'm also just going to look around, see if there's anything else I want to get or need. And also, while I'm up in here, I'm also going to make sure tomorrow that I take her out to pee. Like, right before we do the AI, so she shouldn't have to go. You know what I'm saying? I let her out before, but it was a process. We were messing with Draco, messing with Tootsie. So, you know, I think tomorrow we'll have a way smoother day. I'm probably honestly not going to put it on camera. Y'all basically seen the first little AI shit. Um, just know that I'm going to do that uh, tomorrow, the next day, the next day, and the next day down there. You know what I'm saying? So that's going to be that. Um, this will probably be the end of the video. I just wanted to, like, jump on here and let y'all know, like, you know what I'm saying? This is what we got going. And with that song, man, y'all don't know that song, man. If you're a youngster, you don't know that song. That song totally raw you know what i'm saying that song go crazy so i was searching for that song since i was a kid bro i had this little we're gonna do a story time i was a kid and uh i have found this cd it was like one of my dad's cds though and i put it i plugged it in you know what i'm saying this was back when i was like eight you know what i'm saying so that was a little minute ago this is like 2008 for real so like that's when cds was still it so i was listening to cd and that song, the song I was just playing came on, and I was like, man. Like, that was the hardest song I done heard in a minute. That was probably my favorite song for a minute. I was just like, man, what is this song called? Like, I could have never figured it out, like, on YouTube or nothing. It wasn't even on YouTube at the time. So I would always be trying to, like, look it up as a kid, but I could never figure it out. Like, I would type in the words and everything, but I had recently just, like, thought about the song, looked it up, and found it. So I've been bumping this for like the last, you know what I'm saying, week or so. But yeah, man, I'm on a bully gang in the building. I'm going to repeat this tomorrow, the next day, and the next day. You know what I'm saying? Skip a day, you know you know the deal. And then hopefully, Tootsie, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully she takes, man. You know this is what we've been waiting for. This is the big final moments. This is, you know, execution time. I'm mad Tootsie went to the bathroom a little after I did it, but... We still got, you know, three more days to do it. So hopefully we can get right on 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 this litter. You know, her second heat, hopefully she can take, you know what I'm saying? And uh, for that dude who's going to hit me about his female, you know, she should be needing some AIs done. You know, it's kind of close, like right, you know, on Tootsie's. But I think we'll be all right. I think we'll be able to pull through and, and make it happen. So, yeah, guys. Yeah, man. Real exciting. A lot of, a lot of stuff going on. You know, to start the new year off, 2022. Happy New Year's, by the way. I don't think I told none of y'all that. Happy New Year's. Hope everyone had a good, you know, happy holidays and was safe. And, you know, it's going good. I got sick, man, starting off the year. You know, this is my first time being sick during this whole pandemic. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. It's out here. It's been out here. Can't really run from it, to be real with you, like. It is what it is. Just be safe. Wear your mask like, you know, wash your hands and social distance, little baby. But anyway, man, I'm our bully gang. I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. If anything happens with that uh, other guy's female, I would definitely get it all on camera. And, uh, you know, that'll be that. You know, hopefully if Tootsie takes and, and you know, becomes pregnant, we're gonna have a lot more content coming to y'all, most likely weekly. Like we probably have a couple of videos a week coming, I I'd say. So yeah, man, y'all stay tuned, man. I'm a bully gang in the building. Like, comment, subscribe. You heard? Yeah, man, just stay updated, man. Keep rocking with us, man. I'm telling you, if the, if, if Tootsie takes this litter, man, it's gonna it's gonna be some some fire that y'all gonna wanna see. I promise you that. And y'all also gotta help me. Uh, decide who the keeper is gonna be, cause I feel like, man, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna have some trouble with it, man. Especially if they all look similar. I don't know what we're gonna get, man. I feel like we finna get some rainbows, just because they got so much like colors in the pedigree. It's like they can, they can come out with anything, literally. 
And you know, black dogs carry color, like I've been saying. So it's going to be wild, man. I'm my bully gang.